It is a major winter storm rumbling across central and eastern Kentucky. High winds and heavy snow. I've got the latest coming up. Road crews were out early in Lexington. How the city's new snow plan is handling all this snow. The snow keeps falling in Moorhead, and with no signs of slowing down, there's still a lot of work to do. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. And good evening. A history making snowstorm is pounding and covering the bluegrass, and it has pretty much shut the state down. Governor Bevan has declared a state of emergency for the state as some parts of the bluegrass are seeing up to 18 inches of snow. We'll have live team coverage of the storm throughout our newscast with crews in Lexington, Frankfort, and down in southern Kentucky. But we begin this first alert weather day with WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Chris. Yeah, guys, massive winter storm as expected. Black Lasting not only Kentucky, much of the eastern part of the country as well. That's a blizzard that is cranking here. I want to show you the broad view on this to start things out because we have one little area of low pressure that is weakening across northern parts of Georgia, southeastern Tennessee. Big storm, though, is across parts of the Carolinas and it's just now cranking up. But look at how the snow band extends now through Kentucky. What's going to happen? As this low weakens, the circulation center around this low will begin to weaken a little bit as well. So we will see snows that later tonight start to come at us from Virginia, West Virginia, and Ohio. Short term, we're still getting the spin associated with that lead low that made its way into far southern parts of Tennessee and northern sections of Alabama and Georgia. That is what has produced this monster snowstorm across central and eastern Kentucky. This, one of the all-time greats, that is in progress now for much of our viewing area. Defender radar network continuing to light up with the snows across the Mountain Parkway corridor. This is the area, by the way, between the Mountain Parkway and Moorhead, that I-64 corridor northeastern Kentucky. You could pick up another 6, 10 inches of snow in a few spots tonight. You're going to get that wraparound that comes back at us. Into central, you've already got 12 to 18 inches of snow on the ground in that particular area, too. Absolutely crazy. Bluegrass region, Lexington, depending on where you are, you've got anywhere from eight. Now I'm seeing totals that are topping 10 inches of snow across the Lexington area. Seven inches is close by on the western side of this as Lawrenceburg into Anderson County. Better than a foot of snow across parts of Madison County. Into south central and southeastern Kentucky, the snows continue in these particular areas as well. All told, before this wraps up, this is likely to be a one to two foot snowstorm across eastern Kentucky. We're already into that range. We have a chance of hitting the two feet mark before all is said and done. Meanwhile, you get into far northern Kentucky, not a whole lot that is going on up there. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell braving the elements uh, out there today and uh, look a little lonely back there, buddy. They said that on Twitter a little while ago. They said, You look awful lonely out there. <laughs> I am lonely. It's lonely when it's cold. And Chris won't come out and play. That's the problem. He won't come out here and hang out with me. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm on consistency check. And what that means is I've been checking this snow all day long to see how its transformation has gone. Earlier today, the flakes were a little bit bigger, a little more moisture involved with it. We've gotten colder. So now we are looking at higher snow ratios, which means that when we get it, it's going to come and add up perhaps a little bit quicker off of even smaller amounts of moisture. That's what's going to happen uh, out of this particular batch as we head through the rest. Uh, of the night as long as we're caught under some of these heavier bands, which is exactly what we've been tracking. So at this moment, visibility is actually a little bit better, Chris, uh, since so we've gotten a little bit later here into the evening. Still, you can hear the wind on my microphone. It's still picking up, certainly uh, pushing through the area, but it's not quite as intense as it was. We're probably under one of the little weaker snow showers, but as you have said, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> we're going to go through probably more of where the intensity and the accumulation continues to pile up out there. And a lot of drifting out here as well. That's something to look forward to as well. All right. Maybe, you know what? Maybe after we get the shows under our belts, I'll come out and play. Huh? Um, we're going to continue to see the snows slowly winding down across west central Kentucky, but still, it's going to snow through the entire night, central and eastern Kentucky. And guys, by the time we get into the overnight, notice how the snows, albeit lighter in nature than what we've had today, come at us from east to west. That's as that blizzard cranks across the eastern seaboard. All right, Chris, thank you. Well, this massive snowfall is proving hazardous for drivers around the state, and officials are telling people just to stay off the roads. This is a live look at road.
Washington police are telling us that so far they've had 33 crashes that they've gone to and two injury collisions, but that's a much smaller number than what we had yesterday, so it sounds like people are paying attention. A lot of them are staying off the roads today. Our Mike Linden has been tracking road conditions all day. He ran into a situation on Interstate 75 just a while ago. I'm standing at the 114 mile marker of the southbound lanes of I-75 where a tractor trailer has jackknifed and is taking up the right two lanes of the interstate. Now traffic is still going through the left lane as the truck will be there for at least the next 10 minutes. But if you will look at the highway here covered in snowfall and this is compacted down after a day's worth of heavy wet snow and even though a plow truck came through about five minutes ago you can see that the road already looking worse and according to chris more snow is on the way take it easy on those roadways or better yet stay home in lexington mike linden wkyt slow going out there thank you mike and be safe Lexington crews were out early this morning to work on clearing all those roads. Miranda Combs joins us now live in downtown Lexington with more on the city's response. Miranda? Sam, this pile of snow behind me is a good example of what you'll see all down Main Street as they're trying to get a handle on this continuing falling snow. Mayor Jim Gray says he's thankful that so many drivers have stayed off the road today. Now, we can tell you from spending the day downtown that the roads have gotten significantly worse in the past few hours, not to mention the winds have really picked up, causing a lot of snow drifts. The mayor says police have responded to two injury and three non-injury accidents since midnight. They say their plans following last year's storms have helped with contracting help out on these roads. Well, I would say I don't know that there's that many more out this year earlier because Albert's always out early. Uh, but we did take the plan that we used last year and tested. That was with the private contractors. And we've improved that plan and implemented that plan this year and have, in, and, and have been able, as a result of that, we've been able to get more equipment out. Whew, this wind is just brutal out here right now, but something the mayor also mentioned is the fact that the chemicals used to treat these roads, a lot of times they don't work as well in these very, very cold temperatures. So that may add to some of the time of getting these, these roads cleared out. For now, we're live in Lexington, Miranda Combs, WKYT. Hang on there. I'm ran in a very windy downtown Lexington. Well, parts of eastern Kentucky are expected to get the worst of this storm. Garrett Weimer is in Rowan County, where the snow could go over a foot or more of snow. He joins us now live from Moorhead. Garrett? It's been a long day, and yet somehow it's still snowing here. Uh, the last time I measured, depending on where exactly I put it, uh, I've been between seven and eight inches right now. Crews have been out all day. In fact, one just passed by this uh, street behind me uh, just a couple of moments ago. Uh, but with the snow in such volume not stopping, uh, there's still a lot of work to do. It's been an even longer day for emergency management and first responders. Shortly after the snow started falling this morning, they met to go over how to respond during the storm. We've been working for, for weeks in preparation of what we saw as a forecast coming up uh, late January, early February. Once the stronger stuff started falling and piling up quickly, city and county leaders declared a local state of emergency and urged folks to stay at home. You know, we went through this twice last year, and uh, this snowfall here is predicted to be more than what we had then. If we can keep people off the highways, that creates a less of a problem for us when we have to travel somewhere, and, and then hopefully we'll cut down on the accidents that we'll see during this uh, next couple of days. As the day wore on, we saw fewer and fewer folks actually out and about, with snow continuing to come down hard, People made plans to hunker down for the rest of the weekend. Just watch TV, hope the electric stays on. Now, emergency management says if you do lose power, first notify your electric company, yes, but also notify dispatchers. And I should note that uh, the snow has kind of slackened its pace in the last hour since we last spoke. Uh, but like all day, it's still coming down. Live in Moorhead, Garrett Weimer, WKYT.
All right, Garrett, thank you. You have had a long day. And if you take a look at the bottom of your screen as we broadcast, you'll see that most businesses are closed today in this area. But the Circle T restaurant in Perry County prides itself on being open 24 7, regardless of the conditions. So uh, today, people made their way to the Hazard Diner. We have our faithful customers that come faithfully, if any way possible, they can get here. And there are loyal customers, and we love them all. Workers at Circle T say if they were not open, some people might not get a hot meal during this snowstorm. Here in central Kentucky, some business owners brave the cold to remain open today as well. And as Monique Blair found out, they have stayed busy all day. She has more now from Jessamine County. I'm in Jessamine County where the snow continues to fall very heavy here as it has been for several hours. And although there are a fair amount of cars out on the road, not many businesses here in Nicholasville are open. You can see this Dairy Queen here closed early. I don't know if you can see this sign here, but they closed early after Governor Bevin declared a state of emergency. Police tell me there have been very few accidents, but they say an issue they are seeing is that many vehicles that are four-wheel drive are not using caution when driving on these roads. And police want to make sure you know that even though you're going the speed limit in these conditions, it could land you a ticket for driving too fast for conditions. And although many businesses are closed, Walmart in downtown Nicholasville is open. And for one local man, he told me he's thankful that it is. And we, we had ran out of baby formula. So that's the main reason, and we just figured, you know, we heard the storm was going to be bad for the next 36 hours, so we decided to go ahead and get some more things just in case. Now, police are just really urging you to stay at home if at all possible. Police say this intersection here in downtown Nicholasville has posed some problems for some drivers. As you can see, it slopes upward, so cars are having a hard time turning on and off this main road here. For now, I'm reporting in Jessamine County. Monique Blair, WKYT. Still ahead, Lexington police braving the storm to offer rides to medical personnel along with some patients. That story and more. First alert weather team coverage after the break. And this powerhouse of a winter storm continues to crank up not only across Kentucky, but across the eastern seaboard as well. It's a monster. We'll show you what it has left for the bluegrass state. It's going to snow for a while yet. In just a moment. Stay with us. WKYT News is brought to you by Traditional Bank. If your vehicle has been in an accident, you have the right to choose your collision center. Tell your insurance company you want to take it to Fortune. Fortune Collision Center, 1-800-506-9322. Fortune Collision Center works with all insurance companies. We'll contact your insurance company and get an estimate. With five Central Kentucky locations, call 1-800-506-9322 or click on fortunecollision.com. Remember, when your insurance company asks where you want to take your vehicle, tell them you want to take it to Fortune. Give us five minutes to make your life easier. MomsEveryday.com No two babies are alike. And no two birthing experiences are alike. At the Women's Hospital at St. Joseph East, we believe you should have your baby your way. With a birthing plan designed around you and a level three neonatal ICU. A personalized childbirth experience isn't just good for mom. It's good for baby. Kentucky One Health, the one name in healthcare. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. When winter is at its worst, that's when WKYT calls a first alert severe weather day. Keeping your family safe with the power of the Defender Radar Network and the entire first alert weather team, plus continuous coverage on air on WKYT.com and wherever you are with our news and weather apps. Because when the snow starts falling, it takes an experienced team to stand for you when the weather gets tough. First alert severe weather days, only on WKYT. WKYT investigates because we stand for Kentucky. Miranda Combs, WKYT. 
It means digging deeper to make sure the Kentucky way of life is protected. You think you're deceiving your people that voted for you by not getting your training? I'm WKYT's Miranda Combs and I stand for Kentucky. WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day continues as we track our winter storm. As uh, Jim was outside earlier showing us, it's not snowing as hard right now in Lexington. And visibility is up just a little bit, but we anticipate some more decent bursts of snow to come through here over the next few hours. We measured right at 10 inches of snow here at the station, getting a lot of Twitter picture uh, reports coming in. 8, 9, 10, even just had an 11 inch snow report out of Lexington. So, a major Major snowstorm to say the least. Mountain Parkway, I've noticed the visibility is up a little bit here as well. It simply cannot snow as hard as what it was snowing earlier in the day for the entire event. Feels like it is 10 degrees in Lexington, so that's another element to this. Those gusty winds, sure, temperatures aren't brutally cold, but it feels at times like it's down into the single digits. Here's that snowstorm. It's a blizzard that is cranking now across the Carolinas, working up into the nation's Heartland, or the nation's capital, I should say, and then toward New York City. Low pressure, you can actually see the spin here in the North Georgia. That's going to lose a lot of its signature, and it's giving way to this big monster of a storm that is on the East Coast. What that means for Kentucky is that we still have bands of snow to go through over the next several hours. And what will happen as that back edge of the snow that is showing up across southern parts of Indiana works in here, we're going to see then the snows begin to come at us from the east and the northeast. So we're not out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination. Mountain Parkway corridor, we've picked up greater than a foot of snow and in some cases getting 18 inch reports coming out of that particular area. Northeastern Kentucky, you're going to pick up the most snow tonight from the Mountain Parkway northeast. Could be another six plus inches yet to fall. The snows right now are still follow the path of those coming at us from southeast to northwest. So that low isn't fully uh, to our east just yet. Snow train in southeastern Kentucky breaking up a little bit. That'll kind of uh, intensify once again. One to two feet of snow before all of uh, this wraps up tomorrow. Still, you've already got 18 inches in some areas of eastern Kentucky. Basically, we're already into the low end of this range across much of the area. Farther north that you get, Areas that you would expect the most snow out of sometimes in northern Kentucky, you're kind of on the outside looking in to folks to your south and southeast. We look at a future radar, and indeed the snow trends, that back edge gets to central Kentucky and then just parks itself. So then we start to look towards southern Ohio and West Virginia for snow that will come back at central and eastern Kentucky. So the snow train, again, comes at us from the east as we go toward late tonight and tomorrow. Roads are an absolute mess right now across central and eastern Kentucky, and we are seeing a lot of accidents because of the snow-packed roads. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell has been tracking the snow-covered roads and the latest accident reports, including that mess, Jim, in southern Kentucky along I-75. Uh, and that's exactly what it is, a mess, just a nasty little an area along the interstate that is an absolute mess down there, Chris, <laughs> as we've talked about. A couple of accidents uh, that are showing up here around Lexington. And just notice, in general, the slow go anywhere you go, and I know that's common sense to, to say, oh, it's snowing outside, it's gonna, there's going to be a slow go. But, I mean, it is just ridiculous out there for folks that have been uh, traveling anywhere across uh, central portions of Kentucky. Let me show you a couple of the accidents. We've got one that they have been working where a jackknife truck, uh, and I think Mike Linden had a report from up there a little earlier uh, there along uh, Newtown Pike. We go down the road, still walking, watching that one at uh, 8th and Zoonsboro exit there right around 104. And then again, let's highlight the area right along the interstate where it is shut down between exit 59 and 49. Sam and Amber were on the phone with uh, the state police a little while ago talking about how urgent and how critical of a situation that it is down there, Chris. Yeah, and uh, obviously with the snows that continue to push into that particular area, it, things aren't going to improve anytime soon. So the snow train rolls on across central and eastern Kentucky. That'll take us right on in to the start of tomorrow, and we will carry light snow into tomorrow afternoon as temperatures uh, stay below freezing and maybe head towards zero, unfortunately, as we go into Sunday morning. Guys, this uh, really a historic snowstorm for parts of the region. Up, update real quick. Uh, Sean Moody's tweeting that northbound I-75 in Rockcastle County is now open and they hope to get the southbound lanes open soon. Good. So that's that a bit good. of good news. Good yeah. progress there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.
Lafayette County Sheriff's Office activated its winter care program today. Deputies have been giving rides to work for people in the medical industry as well as taking patients to critical medical appointments. Our Victor Puente is out with those deputies and he joins us now on the phone live in Lexington with more. And Victor, it sounds like the deputies started work early this morning. That's right, Sam. They did start pretty early. We actually just finished dropping off a woman who came from UK Hospital. They started at 6 this morning. They were offering rides to medical professionals and to people with necessary medical appointments. That includes treatments such as chemotherapy or dialysis. Uh, since we've been on the road, we picked up a, a dietitian from UK's Chandler Hospital and a woman heading to a, a dialysis appointment along with several others. Deputy Cole Evans tells me earlier this morning they picked up some food from the Catholic Action Center for two people who hadn't been able to stock up before that storm hit. So it's not just medical needs, although they have picked up some medication for people whose vehicles simply won't make it on these roads. And when second shift came on at four, that in increased the number of deputies out here picking people up. There's still a little bit of a backup when people call just because of the volume of the calls they've been receiving. They plan on continuing these pickups until at least midnight, and they'll assess the situation at that point. Now, if you have the need for a ride, you can call 252-1771 to schedule one. Just be aware that you may want to give them some notice ahead of time. In Lexington, Victor Puente, WKYT. It's a great service that they have. Yes, people glad they're doing it. Definitely have to be out. All right, let's switch gears for a moment. Okay. Away from weather, let's talk a little bit of sports. Coach Cal had uh, his way with his team last night. Well, they like the way they played. A good win and what can be a tough place to play. But Cal says here in late January, he's still teaching a lot. And it's getting tiring. Sports is next. Tonight, how far will he go? You murdered your wife for justice. You better do what I tell you to do. New Hawaii 5 -0. Then... Thanks for your service, Lieutenant. And don't let the door hit you on the way out. Witnesses saw him shooting up a subway car. What? You know you need to turn yourself in. Do what you have to do, because I'm going to do what I have to. Put down the gun. New Blue Bloods after Hawaii 5 -0 tonight. You're never far away from a new Toyota. Find the latest offers on your tablet. Check inventory on your phone. Toyota is everywhere you are at buyatoyota.com. Now, during Toyota's Anytime Anywhere event, get the bold 2016 Camry with zero for 60 financing, plus $500 bonus cash. Get 1250 customer cash or a $179 a month lease. So visit here and then come in here for your new Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. Behave for Uncle Pete. Now Time Warner Cable makes your internet go faster. Up to 50 megs. Are you having fun? Yeah, it's okay, it's good. With home Wi-Fi, powered by the latest equipment available to cover all your devices. So when you need more from your internet, it's there for you. Discover how much more is included. Internet plans start as low as $14.99 per month. Call 1-855-1TWC. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy 0% financing for five years and free TVs with your qualifying purchase during the New Year event at Sleep Outfitters. Get this Sealy Pillow Top Queen Set with Gel Foam on sale now for just $4.99 plus a free TV. Or this Tempur-Pedic Adjustable Queen Set now as low as $34 per month plus a free TV. 0% financing for five years, free TVs, store-wide savings, and free same-day delivery. The New Year event at Sleep Outfitters. Considering bankruptcy? Call Atkinson, Sims & Kermode. Start your bankruptcy for only $78 now. Dial 859. Call ASK for your free consultation. Welcome. How are you doing? Good, how are you? So today you're going to choose a mobile office. Okay. You can choose this Chevy Silverado, which offers built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi, or you can choose this Ford F-150, which doesn't offer Wi-Fi. But to make up for it, we added a trailer, a satellite antenna, and Dolores. Hey, fellas. <laughs> what? So which one do you want? I picked the Chevy. <laughs> Definitely. Or get this dependable Silverado All Star Edition with a total value of $7,250. See your Kentucky Select Chevy dealers. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook.
John Calipari winning for the first time in Fayetteville as Kentucky's coach, and it was an encouraging performance last night. The bigs came out strong. Derek Willis started, finished with 12 points, seven rebounds, four blocks. And Scalabissier played one of his best games in weeks, building his confidence with 11 points and three blocks. Oh, yeah, he's building his own confidence. You can't, if it's me, yeah, you're okay. He's like, no, I'm not. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter what I say. It's what he's saying to himself. And, you know, I think, again, I keep telling him, you got no pressure on you now. Anything you do now is like, oh, my gosh. So just go play. Calipari is constantly having to teach with his team, and here it is getting near the end of January. Cal said it even comes down to shoot-arounds, like yesterday at Arkansas. I'm having to teach in shoot-arounds. The guys, the TV guys watched yesterday, the shoot around, I had to stop them and talk and teach and do it again and do it again. And you understand and da da da. And it, it, it wears you out. It tires you out. Like you can't just stand there and watch. You have to, and you can't let them just play like they want to play. You have to stop them. Because if you let them do what they want to do, you cannot win. All right, the Cats back home tomorrow to play Vanderbilt in Rupp. It will be on ESPN at 4 o'clock. And tonight, we bring you another finalist for the Kentucky Sportsman of the Year Award, which will be announced next Tuesday night here in Lexington at the annual Bluegrass Sports Commission Awards Dinner. Western Kentucky quarterback Brandon Dowdy enjoyed one of the finest seasons in recent years. Dowdy led the NCAA with more than 5,000 passing yards. He also was first in the country with a 71% completion percentage and was tops with 48 touchdown passes. Dowdy led the toppers to a 12-2 record, a Conference USA Championship, and a win over South Florida in the Miami Beach Bowl. And again, Sportsman of the Year will be announced next Tuesday night. Stay with us now as we continue here on WKYT.